Hey there, and welcome to another project of mine, uh, which is now a 3D printed uh, death glider from Stargate. Well, mainly Stargate SG-1, uh, because that's the most common version of the of the model. Of course, there were uh, quite a lot of variants of the uh, death glider, but I will uh, focus mainly on this one, which is the uh, main uh, version of the glider that appear in the series. Um, first, I was thought about Udajit, which was which was the opened cockpit variant uh, from the movie, but I decided against that and uh, decided to go with the normal uh, variant. As uh, with the previous projects, um, I would like to achieve few goals. Uh, mostly, uh, I would like the parts to be printed uh, without the support material, uh, if possible, and to be easily assembled together, um, preferably without any glue whatsoever. Uh, basically make it a kit uh, in a way like Lego, so that it would be assembled together uh, quite easily. Now, when it comes to the refer reference points, uh, I uh, used quite a lot of pictures, um, so we will go to that. But before that, I would uh, love to actually show some features that I would love um, the model to have. Features that were present in presented in the uh, in the actual model in the series itself. So first things first. Uh, for those of you who know uh, this feature of the uh, of the dead glider, uh, it's the fact that its wings are actually foldable uh, for uh, compacted space, I assume. Uh, so that is one of the features. Uh, the second feature that I would really love to achieve is, as you can see here, the entire uh, well inside i guess uh, where those two pilots uh, sit is for uh, retractable and could be folded down as we can see here so uh, the pilot and co-pilot could uh, just like now uh, access from below and when they are uh, seated we can actually see that the entire thing is raised up. So this is the uh, feature that I would also love to have. And uh, the last thing is um, during the season 6 when uh, Anubis was uh, actually a uh, dominant uh, bad guy uh, we found out that he knows some stuff that other gods don't because he's partially ascended. Thus, he has, uh, well, most advanced gold technology. One of it is uh, he has better gliders, and uh, those gliders are actually different from those that we saw here, in that, that they are. Um, they have opened cockpit that could be closed. Uh, that's a feature that we didn't see on the previous gliders. As we can see here, as you can see, it would be closed like that. Feature that I really like. It's really nice. So, that I would really love to uh, achieve as well. So, uh, without further ado, let's go to Creo and take a look uh, at the model that I already designed. So, now we are uh, again in Creo, and this is the model that I designed. So, uh, now I would like to present it uh, and describe all, all its features and so on. So, um, I was uh, trying to achieve the goal of uh, 
uh, all the parts uh, being printed without any support material and uh, being easy to uh, easy to assemble however in this particular case um, unfortunately there is uh, one exception that uh, I wasn't able to actually design in such a way and those are the wings as you can see uh, they are detailed for from both sides and uh, that is why I had to divide it into half also their shape uh, kind of prevents uh, that goal uh, to be achieved so those uh, things have has to be unfortunately glued together or well printed separately and then glued together but uh, apart from those wings uh, everything else should be um, without any issue at all so now that we have that out of the way uh, this is the design um, itself I tried to um, stay true to the design as shown in the series though I made few changes here and there now when it comes to features uh, I managed to actually fulfill everything I wanted so first feature are those wings now as you can see here already uh, here is a joint and uh, here we have one and uh, the first and the second uh, well safeties that uh, hold uh, the wings uh, in the position if I move them outside I can actually fold down the wings so now it is in the position as uh, on that picture uh, in uh, last in the last episode of the season one and first episode of season two now the second feature that I prepared is this uh, I will go back with the wings so that they go out of the way basically here we have a slider and the cockpit uh, raise or lowers down just like in the series though I have to admit that the cockpit itself isn't really detailed I didn't really think it is necessary so I didn't really spend much time on it but it could be lowered and raised again and because I really liked how the uh, gliders from uh, Anubis, those, those uh, well, uh, upgraded uh, gliders, uh, I d really liked uh, how they closed their cockpits. So I also prepared this. So it basically slides inward and uh, here unfortunately the entire part with the well, fuselage I guess um, with the hull itself has to be moved simply because otherwise it wouldn't be really uh, possible to print uh, without glue sure uh, if I open this part this is the uh, only part other than the than wings that will have support material and uh, here but I don't really think that's an issue because uh, here I will simply remove it and uh, it shouldn't cause any problems at all so this is the the overall design here uh, I have the staff cannon uh, it is closed I didn't really uh, wanted to spend so much time on actually uh, designing uh, the cannon that could be opened because uh, I don't think it's uh, necessary nor do I think it would be possible on such a small small design to have this mechanism So as you can see it is uh, made of individual layers that will snap together just like uh, Lego 
uh, and here we have this shaft that will go uh, into uh, this part and then the wings will go through it now in this part of the wing uh, here because we cannot insert the, the shaft through here because it's enclosed um, here we actually can because it is not enclosed here so here we have opening so it should theoretically snap and then hold by its own we'll see how it will actually work uh, considering the colors yes here I will have to apply some painting but I don't really mind it at all now I also added those decorative curves I guess that are prevalent on the gold technology and um, I know that they were uh, quite extensive on the on the glider so I added them as well and I think they look kinda nice okay so there is not much I can say about the design other than the fact that here we have uh, this opening and this opening is here because I also uh, designed a pedestal to which uh, or on which the model could be attached with the assign that glider and the good thing is that it could be displayed both in this position or this position there is still quite a lot of space so no problem there so it could be placed on well some shelf or some desk in quite a nice uh, well flying position I, I assume well that would be all uh, when it comes to the, the presentation of the model itself uh, so I hope you liked it and that will be all for this uh, video so thanks thank you and bye bye